Children's Emergency Relief International, also known as CIRI, brings hope and healing to thousands of orphans, at-risk youth, and families worldwide. CIRI strives to improve the lives of disadvantaged children while sharing the life-changing message of God's unconditional love for them. CIRI currently has programs and projects in Latin America, Eastern Europe, Southeast Asia, and Africa. In Mexico, Siri is working on the southernmost state of Chiapas, in and around the capital city of Tuxla Gutierrez. Here, Siri conducts children's retreats each Saturday in an effort to reach out to impoverished children in the area. Some of these children live in abject poverty, many have lice infestations, and live in lean-to shelters constructed of nothing more than scrap materials. During Siri's retreat time, the children hear Bible stories, play games, and are given a hot, nutritious meal and much-needed affection. Siri also conducts short-term mission trips to Mexico each summer with opportunities to teach vacation Bible school, work on construction teams, residence renovations, and other projects to improve the living conditions of families. There are also opportunities for doctors, nurses, and other volunteers to serve on medical teams that demonstrate the love of Christ in very real and physical ways. Siri's work in Moldova has developed and grown over the course of nearly 10 years. One of the poorest nations in Europe, Moldova continues to be both a major source of and a transit country for human trafficking. Approximately 10,000 children are institutionalized in state-run facilities in this small country that is roughly the size of the state of Maryland. Children stay in the orphanages until they age out at 16. At this young age, they are turned out into the world to make it on their own. Considering that these teenagers have been institutionalized for most of their lives and have had their provisions and belongings issued to them, they are not ready to be self-sufficient. The danger of facing life on the street makes intervention necessary. Siri's first goal is to work with its national staff to get at-risk children into Christ-centered foster care homes. This can be an extended family member or a compassionate non-related family willing to provide a loving family environment to a child. One of the Siri programs is Quality of Life, directed at orphanage children in grades 7 through 9. They are encouraged to work hard in school and to think about additional education and training so that they can be productive, self-sufficient children when they age out. Transitional Care is a similar program focused at older teens and young adults who have already aged out. This program helps to prepare young adults for independent living by providing mentoring from sponsors and help in finding scholarships for further education. There are weekly classes in Siri offices that focus on life skills such as health, hygiene, and budgeting. Computers are available for them to learn job skills, and they have a safe place to hang out with friends. The youth must sign an agreement that includes staying in school and adherence to a moral code of conduct in order to be part of the program. Short-term mission opportunities to Eastern Europe are offered almost year-round, including Siri's largest mission effort, the annual boot mission. Each winter, Siri undertakes a mission to distribute winter boots, socks, hats, and scarves to orphans in either Moldova or neighboring Transnistria. These two countries suffer harsh winters, leaving disadvantaged children and youth susceptible to the dangers of frostbite. Siri staff and volunteers visit these orphanages and personally place new winter boots and socks on the feet of each child. The island of Sri Lanka is located off the southern tip of India. Its people have suffered greatly following the devastating 2004 tsunami and the on and off civil war that began in 1983 and only recently ended. Children are without parents, places to live, food, and health care. Siri became the nation's first foster care program at the request of the Sri Lankan government in 2005 in response to the tsunami. With the help of Siri's national staff, over 150 Sri Lankan children have been placed in foster homes, providing them with a nurturing family environment, basic necessities, and a chance to get an education. There are an overwhelming number of oppressed children on the African continent. Siri partners with an orphanage called Ministry of Mercy in Nigeria. Located on Africa's western coast, Nigeria is the continent's most populous nation, most of whom live in poverty. Ministry of Mercy is located in the remote village of Otatulu. It was created to care for crippled and otherwise disabled throwaway children. Siri helps the orphanage to provide basic care, vitamins, infant formula, diapers, powdered milk, and medical supplies necessary to sustain more than 300 children taking refuge there. 
Ailments of these discarded children range from polio to severe burns. Some are albinos, others live with disfiguring tumors. Still more suffer from other physical and mental disabilities. At Ministry of Mercy, these children are accepted, cared for, taught, and shown the love of God, their father who will not abandon them. Siri also sends a medical mission team to Nigeria each summer to meet additional physical needs. South Africa is home to the largest number of people living with HIV of any country in the world, an estimated 5.7 million. Nearly 1,000 people die in South Africa every day as a result of AIDS. Illness and death are not the only tragedies associated with the AIDS pandemic. Over 1.4 million South African children have been orphaned due to AIDS. Siri's work in South Africa is made possible by a grant from the United States Agency for International Development through the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief. The goal is to help orphans and vulnerable children who have lost parents or caregivers due to AIDS build resilience and nurture a sense of identity. Siri is working to expand its work in South Africa beyond the USAID-funded project, making short-term mission trips available for volunteers. Siri is partnering with an organization called Intimbi, which means Places of Hope. Intimbi is located in the Popmeni Township of South Africa. In this community of approximately 43,000, 80% of the residents are unemployed and 30% are infected with HIV. Volunteers will have the opportunity to minister to these people by helping to build sustainable gardens that can feed five or more people every day. They will be able to work in a family care center to conduct Bible studies, games, music and activities with children and youth. They can work in hospice care for AIDS patients, administering medications and sharing the gospel. In Haiti, Siri's parent company, BCFS has led multiple successful medical missions to serve at a local hospital and an orphanage in Port-au-Prince. Siri is in the process of investigating partnerships with local organizations in the hope of establishing long-term operations in the region. As the headlines and images of Haiti fade in the media and in the minds of the world, for millions of Haitians, the emergency continues. Siri's desire is to communicate to children in deplorable life circumstances that God does indeed hear their desires listen to their cries, and care about them. He has not abandoned them, for he is a father to the fatherless. Siri's work depends on individuals and organizations who understand their obligation to come to the aid of, the least of these, God's children, to show Christ's love and give hope for a brighter future.